welcome to our uh, marine knowledge channel this is your sailor basha so today the topic we are going to cover uh, is related to fire fighting so today i would like to give some outline some idea about uh, hyper mist fire fighting system so watch this video you will come to know what is hypermes system what are all the equipments used for a uh, hypermes system and uh, how it works all these things i would try to explain you so once you completed watching this video you will be able to know some basic knowledge about uh, hypermes fire fighting system do not skip the video please watch uh, fully we'll go and see the video so this is uh, your uh, centrifugal pump for operating this hypermist uh, pipe fighting system it's a vertically mounted centrifugal pump it have power source from emergency switchboard also and uh, it it got a uh, two connection which is which goes to the pressure gauges one will be the suction the other will be the discharge and there will be one purging line this is your purging line so initially when you start if you want to purge air from the system you can just open the valve and release the air and close the valve when the air is completely released the pump takes suction from the fresh water tank and this fresh water tank has a gauge to monitor the level and it should be always tested for the tank low level alarm and always minimum water for the hypermist should be maintained for this it is 22 meter cube and the suction valve for the hypermist pump should be always kept in open position and it has to be locked so that accidentally no one can close it so this system is always taking suction from fresh water tank so you can see here yeah, the suction will be from the fresh water tank and this is your discharge line and this discharge line comes under a common manifold and from the common manifold it got a branch so it got connected with each and every system ae1 ae2 ae3 and all this individual system have automatically operated valves all this uh, or automatically operated motor driven driven uh, ball valves and uh, in case if this valves are not uh, opened automatically we can open manually also and this is your drain valve in case if you want to drain the system you can use this valve for draining and this valve is always kept closed and there will be a valve in the top which is for testing the system and uh, this valve is also should be kept closed in order to keep the system safe only you have to open only when you are doing the testing and uh, i will show you how to operate uh, how to open the valve when the automatic valve valve is not uh, functioning and these are all the lines which is going towards the system okay in case your automatic motor driven valve is not opening we can open the valve manually also so how we can open it i will tell you now this is a spanner this is a spanner for uh, used for opening manually and back side of the valve you can see a knob you have to open the knob and you can see the 
valve head this is your valve head you, what you need to do is you have to take the spanner and just you need to fix the spanner and just open it the sole all you need to do is you have to open anti clockwise so that means your valve is already opened uh, main thing you have to keep back the spanner back in place once the operation is done this uh, hypermesh system can be operated locally also so you can find the local operating procedure it's very simple all you need to do is uh, you have to just start the system this is the switch just you turn the system start so immediately the start system will uh, activate the pump and pump will start and the water will start spraying on the particular these two switches are for dg3 and dg4 so if you switch on whichever in fire that particular nozzle will start spraying so this is how it works when you start the system locally same like dg's this is for boiler system it got a audible and visual alarm so this two alarm will start glowing when the switch is turned to start position this is your water mist nozzle from where the water sprays into very fine mist so each and every system boiler ae 1 ae 2 incinerator main engine so all individual system has this hyper mist protection so this is the valve this is the nozzle water mist nozzle and uh, this is called dry type nozzle and uh, it got a flow rate of uh, 19 liter per hour and it got a suction filter over there so whenever we do any maintenance we have to remove it and check the filter clean it and put back so this we do uh, we don't do very often but uh, doing yearly maintenance they will remove the nozzle and check for the filter for any clog or not and uh, this is made up of uh, stainless steel so this nozzle should be free of any clogs or anything it should not be clogged and filter should be cleaned these are things that you need to check during your annual inspection so this is a remote operating station for your uh, hypermesh system and usually this is operated from the ship's uh, fire control station you can see lot of switches which is related to your uh, operating uh, system and it got a pump start stop suction valve open indication run indication source and it also indicator indicates the uh, vent fan which go off when you operate any one of the uh, discharge valves suppose if you operate a purifier uh, valve so that uh, related purifier vent fan will stop and that will be indicated there here you can see the instruction for operating the system and uh, all you need to do is whenever you want to do some activation just press the start button it will start it will start the pump audible and visual alarm will be there valve open and system start doing the fire fighting so it got a low level indication also so this is your alarm panel for uh, hypermesh uh, fire fighting system so it now it indicates the system is standby and if there is uh, any operation of any unit that particular unit will start glowing indicating the fire fighting is started for that particular system so after uh, watching this video you must have got some idea about uh, hypermesh uh, fire fighting system how it works what are all the parts involved in it how it can be operated and everything so thanks for watching if you got any comments please put in comment box definitely i will reply you keep supporting thank you guys